If humans will ever end the world, the world wars might have been our first try. China and the U.S. continue to lock horns over Taiwan's sovereignty. The gloves keep coming off with new types of weapons that have never been seen before. The U.S. has just unveiled its new generation stealth flying wing drone. Impressive, yes, but shockingly, China isn't far behind with a new generation stealth flying drone of its own. And according to satellite images, it may have capabilities the American drone couldn't even dream of. In this battle for the drone of the future, which nation will build it stronger, faster, stealthier? Today we find out, and in the process, we see how drones changed war forever. How did drones change war, you say? Well, how didn't they? They already do or show great potential of doing everything manned aircraft do today in ways that manned aircraft could never. For one, manned aircraft are manned, which means precious Air Force personnel are at risk every time the aircraft takes to the sky. One lost unmanned aircraft would of course be sad, but nothing compared to losing a person along with the aircraft. Nothing compared to having military personnel visiting the family of a hero to take off their hats and deliver some heartbreaking news. Nothing compared. So, drones come with lower costs to life but also costs to budget. Drones are much cheaper to operate and maintain than manned aircraft. This makes them a more attractive option for any country, whether countries with limited military budgets or countries with robust military budgets interested in having a large fleet of flying undead warriors ready to strike down the enemy at a moment's notice. This readiness for instant deployment is another discussion in favor of unmanned aircraft over their manned counterparts. All of these capabilities make drones well-suited for whatever mission they may be tasked with. Surveillance and reconnaissance, where drones can be used to gather well-detailed intelligence on enemy positions and movements. Target acquisition, where drones can be used to pinpoint enemy targets, such as tanks, artillery, and troop concentrations. And then strike missions, where drones can directly cut short the life expectancy of targets to a few short minutes. They wouldn't know what hit them, and even if they did, retaliation against a drone isn't exactly going to be a major cause for concern across the military. For all of these reasons and more, the U.S., like every country that can afford to do so, began investing heavily in building a fleet of formidable drones for the military. An impressive result of this is the XRQ-73. XRQ-73 The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has done it yet again. In partnership with the Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, and the Office of Naval Research, ONR, DARPA has once again developed a groundbreaking revolutionary aircraft that's unlike anything the world has seen before. Enter the XRQ-73. Sure, it looks like the B-2 Spirit and the B-21 Raider and China's Shan H-20, but it is something all of these other flying wing aircraft aren't. It is unmanned. It's a drone. And as we've said earlier, drones are simply incredible. The XRQ-73 is being developed under a program called Series Hybrid Electric Propulsion Aircraft Demonstration, Shepard. DARPA has been running Shepard in cooperation with the AFRL and ONR since 2021. Northrop Grumman is the prime contractor for the program, and its subsidiary, Scaled Composites, is described as a major supplier. Cornerstone Research Group, Brayton Energy, PC Krauss & Associates, and Eagle Pitcher Technologies are also involved in the project. With the Avengers assembled, the XRQ-73 now had all it needed to be assembled itself. In fact, Scaled Composites, the Northrop Grumman subsidiary, developed the XRQ-72, the direct predecessor to the new XRQ-73. As a successor to an advanced unmanned aircraft, the XRQ-73 knew it had to come out strong. So it did. For one, the aircraft features a hybrid electric propulsion system. Hybrid electric propulsion systems combine fuel-powered engines and electric motors to offer a best-of-both-world type of system ideal for whatever conditions are thrown at them. For when beastly performance is the top priority, the fuel-powered side is in control. For when stealth silence is in demand, 
the quiet electric motors take charge. It also comes with improved fuel economy and a host of other benefits, cost or performance-wise. Not much details are known about the performance of this aircraft, and it's probably best that way for anti-espionage reasons. However, a bit of forgivable beans have been spilled already. The SRQ-73 is a Group 3 unmanned aerial system. According to U.S. military standards, a Group 3 drone means the XRQ-73 can fly at altitudes between 3,500 and 18,000 feet and has a top speed between 115 and 287 miles per hour. The XRQ-73 is also known to weigh approximately 1,250 pounds, substantially larger than the preceding XRQ-72. However, thanks to the XRQ designations, it's safe to say they were both designed for the same kinds of missions – intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Due to this, they are both expected to be insanely stealthy, with the 73 building on the 72 to take that stealth that one step further. The hybrid electric propulsion system is some serious evidence of that. Another is the super flush tail and wingtips, which are far ahead of those of the decade-old XRQ-72. The XRQ-72 was developed under a program known as the Great Horned Owl Program, which ran from the early 2000s until sometime in the 2010s. Since then, the demand for drones capable of operating in contested environments has surged across major services within the military. The XRQ-73 could be the perfect response to this surge. It could quiet down the stomach rumblings and provide the much sought-after capabilities. So although DARPA currently runs the Shepard program, these services will have their ears and eyes peeking into the ongoings of the program. Now is a good time to mention that Shepard evolved from an earlier and broader hybrid electric propulsion project at DARPA called Air Ground Autonomous Vehicles, AGAVE for short. DARPA has received at least $42.77 million for AGAVE and Shepard combined since fiscal year 2020. Curiously, there does not appear to be any money requested for the Shepard program since fiscal year 2023. This could mean at least three things. The program simply didn't require additional funding. The program no longer proves itself worthy of funding. Or the program has proved itself so worthy of funding that it is now being funded by less limited, classified sources. The latter appears to be the more likely option. DARPA is definitely still working on the aircraft. The agency hopes to flight test the aircraft later this year and eventually demonstrate it can be operationalized relatively quickly to meet an unspecified urgent operational need, the same urgent need the military is thirsty to satisfy. What exactly this urgent need is isn't exactly known, but a drone able to survive and persist in contested areas where even the formidable MQ-9 Reaper drones are vulnerable would no doubt bring some smile to some military faces. Being extremely quiet and comparatively cool in terms of infrared signature, along with reduced detection to radar systems, would be highly beneficial for a wide array of missions, from direct attacks to surveilling patterns of rival forces over long periods of time without being noticed. Again, it'll bring some smiles to some faces. But the XRQ-73 isn't the only smile-bringing drone in the world. On the other side of the planet, it has a powerful Chinese rival the GJ-11 Sharpsword. The GJ-11 Sharpsword, unmanned, sharp, and not a sword, is China's equivalent groundbreaking drone. It finally made an appearance in the public eye. At a test or training site on Chanjing Island in Shanghai, two full-scale mock-ups of the unmanned aircraft were spotted. The mock-ups were surrounded by massive Chinese ships with spacious decks, just over a mile away from the aircraft's position was where the first example of the Type 076, a new class of Chinese amphibious ships, was found to be under construction. According to satellite imagery, the Type 076 will be around 141 feet wide and 864 feet long, still significantly larger than other amphibious assault ships around the world. Northwest of where the aircraft mock-ups were spotted is where the Type 003 Fujian was built. The Type 003 Fujian is China's largest aircraft carrier yet and the country's first flat top, capable of catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. The Type 076 might be the second. While Fujian wields three launch catapults, however, the Type 076 might boast one. 
The site itself, where the mock-ups lay, has no runway on it or near it. The aircraft mock-ups aren't linked to any taxiways or paved pads. Why all of this information about everything but the aircraft itself, you may ask? All of these hint at GJ-11 drones destined to operate from carrier decks. The new massive Type 076 amphibious warship, the new Type 003 Fujian, the older Type 002 Shandong, and Type 001 Liaoning might all soon be hosting a whole new type of aircraft. One whose design and capabilities share a striking resemblance with those taking shape in the United States. A carrier-capable drone with such capabilities would mean China could deliver its lethality to any region around the world. That would be… well, what would it be? Incredible? Powerful? Downright amazing? Yes, the G-11 Sharpsword could be all of that and much more. With the U.S. working tirelessly on a similar XRQ-73 aircraft at a more impressive timeline, the XRQ-73 could be just as amazing, if not more. Give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.